Hi there folks, I've recently been casting some bullets, some uh, rifle bullets specifically, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you a little uh, illustration of the difference between water dropped uh, wheel weight bullets and air hardened wheel weight bullets. So these are some call bullets that I had left over from my casting session, and these ones on the left hand side were air cooled, so they were just dropped out of the mold onto some uh, fabric to cool off and they are of wheel weight alloy and the ones on the right hand side are also of wheel weight alloy but these ones were dropped out of the hot mold into water to harden them so I'm going to show you a little demonstration of the uh, the difference that this very simple uh, water dropping makes in the hardness and the brittleness of the bullets so first up we have a wheel weight bullet which has been air cooled so this was just dropped out of the mold onto some uh, cloth and left to cool off gradually. So we'll clamp this in our bench vise. And let's see, we'll try to clamp about uh, half of the bearing surface, or the uh, driving band surface roughly. It hold that good. And then we'll grab a hold of the front of it with some vice grip pliers. Clamp on. And let's just see how ductile this particular bullet metal is. So as you can see, we can give this a pretty good bend. How far can we go before anything breaks? Oh, there we go. It finally cracked. So let's have a look at this. Take this out of the vise. So there's uh, quite a bit of deformation before we actually got a crack in the material. I felt it crack. There's a little, you can see a little line in there where the, uh, the metal starting to fail. We got quite a little crack going on there. So next up we're going to try the very same uh, bullet design, the very same alloy. This was cast out of the same pot of wheel weight material, but this stuff was dropped in the water to harden it. So we'll clamp that in there, in approximately the same spot, and grab, the, grab it by the uh, front as well with the vice grips, and we'll see what happens when we give that a bend. We apply some pressure on this, and it just snaps right off. So you can see with very little movement, the alloy sheared right off. You can see the kind of little crystalline structure inside there where it's sheared. So that's a pretty good illustration of the change that just the water dropping made in the uh, the properties of the very same bullet alloy. So we didn't get nearly as much flexibility, we had a lot more hardness, 